I'm Andy Ruina from Cornell, here with Matt Kelly and Matt Sheen. We're making a walking robotic platform, smart legs, and an empty body and head for others to fill in. We want a legged version of a human-free Segway that can efficiently get around floors and sidewalks, reliably, so you aren't afraid of it falling. I used to think that passive dynamic robots, machines that can walk downhill without sensors or motors, were a good starting point for understanding controlled walking. I used to think we should add just a little bit of power and control to a passive dynamic robot. Now I don't. Now I think we should sense and compute like crazy and use lots of motors and then optimize for balance and power. Then we'll get something efficient that might look like passive dynamics with the motors off and off, but won't be. Rather than thinking of touching up a nice steady gait, I now think of, above all else, avoiding falls. Then we can tune up the efficiency. Why the change? Consider a point mass and two massless legs, which can, in simulation, walk stably downhill if you start it right. How right? Well, if we add sensing and control, then the region of attraction for not falling is 200 times bigger. How do you keep from falling? Mostly by stepping. Your legs are bigger than your feet, so you can move your support point a lot with stepping. And flailing your upper body around doesn't help much. Your ability to stay up after a sideways knock goes down by a factor of 15 if you can't step. So our robot will use foot placement and push off as the main ways to move and stay up. We aim to optimize our complex robot's resistance to falls by optimizing stability of a point mass model. About the machine. Big gear reductions are energy efficient and springs don't help much. Our big challenge is this year, building a complex machine and designing a tractable structure for the communication between our high level point mass balance control and the physical robot's complicated legs that have torque limited motors. Thanks.